Hi guys, Rui Raptor here. In this second video, we will assemble the Y axis. I will jump ahead a few steps in the manual and you will understand why in a few minutes. So now, we will go ahead and assemble the Y carriage. So get the Y carriage and the B10 bag. Check all four wheels and inspect the washer inside. Sometimes you need to move the washer inside the wheel so that the screw can go in. In the meantime, look for a bag with uh, spare parts. You should find a temperature sensor and some uh, washers. Take four of those washers. Assemble the wheels as the manual illustrates. Get the screw, the wheel, the washer, the eccentric nut or the spacer and the lock nut. Four extra washers go between the aluminium plate and the lock nut. You don't need to use those washers if you don't want to. I decided to use them so I don't scratch the aluminium with the lock nuts. Go ahead and tighten the wheels. The rest of the parts like the springs and nuts for the heat bed, store them back in the bag because we will not use them for now. Adjust the eccentric nuts so that the wheels are far apart and can slide easily on the C-beam. Now, Adjust the eccentric nuts so that you get a good grip on the wheels. Grab the belt bracket and place it as the manual instructs.
Now go back and get the end plate and the B1 bag. Assemble the idler followed by the washer. Now here is where it gets interesting. The community guy suggests to use a 6mm spacer so that the idler stays at the correct height. Although the manual does not show this. It includes the same spacer in the B1 bag. So, how do I know which is the correct height? I will show you how. Screw the end plate to the C-beam. Go ahead and screw all four screws. Remember the Y carriage? Get it in and move it next to the end plate. Look closely to the idler and the belt bracket. As you can see, in my case, the idler with the spacer is too high and without the spacer it's too low. So take just the idler out. Get some 1mm washers and add some between the original washer and the nut. In my case, I needed three 1mm washers to get the idler at the correct height. Install the idler again. This time, make sure you get it correctly secured. You must eliminate any wobbling, but at the same time, it must spin freely. Next, get the Y motor mount plate and bag B13. Assemble everything as the manual suggests. There are only three screws to secure the motor to the plate. The manual does not show where the motor connector is faced to. I'm thinking in my case of placing the control box on the left side of the printer. So I will place the connector face to the left side too.
make sure that one of these screws are faced to the flat side of the motor shaft. Don't worry about the distance here, you will check that next. Get the lower plate, screws and T-nuts. Place the motor assembly next to the idler as you did with the Y carriage and check the height. Adjust the motor pulley so that it matches the same height as the idler. Tighten the small pulley screws and install the motor assembly at the back of the C-beam. But don't install it too near the edge of the C-beam. Give it a little distance so that you have enough room to back it up and tension the belt. One thing I notice is that because you will need to move this assembly a few times to adjust the belt, as you will see next, the plate will start to get scratched. So get a couple of washers and use them here. Now get the belt. You have three. One is a closed belt and you have also two open belts of the same size. Choose one of those two open belts. Take the belt bracket from the Y carriage and secure it with the provided zip ties. The belt bracket must be installed on the right side. If not, your Y-axis will move the wrong way. As you can see, I removed the Y-carriage so that you could see the belt installation, but you don't have to unless you find it easier to do this step without it. If you remove the white carriage, unscrew the fixed wheels only. This way you don't lose the eccentric nut adjustment. Don't forget to cut the extra belt and zip ties. Move the Y carriage and you will notice that everything lines up perfectly. Secure the belt bracket.
place the end plate at the back side. Now, push that motor back and stretch the belt. And tighten the motor mount plate. Thanks for watching, I will continue in the next video, so stay tuned.